Uh, my name is Jasmine. I'm a fourth year cognitive science student. I was majoring in cognitive science and neuroscience, but I recently switched to computation. Why did I choose my major? That's uh, That actually has nothing to do with computation, I have to be honest. It's a start from the beginning. I was interested in, um, in uh, brain science, basically. Um, but that is not psychology we're talking about. I was more interested in what's in the black box. So that was the difference between cognitive science and psychology. Um, and then UCSD was one of the first in the world that actually has a cognitive science department. That was the reason why I come here. Um, so in COXI, we learn about the brain. We learn about the language. We learn about the connection between neurons. And then I find out we can learn about the computation. Instead of learning about the brain, we can start from a different route. We can start thinking about artificial intelligence and build something that can simulate brain and to see if they're alike. So yeah, it's a lot more things that you can imagine that we can do in cognitive science. So if you're even slightly interested, I would recommend you to, you know, take a leap of faith and just try to test out some classes. You don't have to be a Coxine major even. You can just minor in it or took some elective classes. I bet you'll fall in love with it. It's not really a favorite one. I have been taking, so in Coxi we have uh, the Cox 109, which is the first one in machine learning. Um, and now I'm taking the Cox 118A, uh, well, is that 118B? And we have 118B as well. Those are also deep machine learning courses. Uh, I think those are also counts as computer science classes. I think this one, 118B especially, 118A right now, um, seems to be a lot more interesting than what I took before. So it looks like when we have more math and computer science involved, it gets more interesting, but it's more challenging. So for right now, we're learning different algorithms um, for classifiers and regressions, and then just to process data. It's a complete new thing um, that I didn't expect that I would learn from Coxi. So um, yeah, for my Cox 109 class, which is uh, what I took last quarter before uh, the real machine learning class, so it was an introduction for machine learning. Uh, we learned a bunch of algorithms and classifiers. So, so what I did for my final project uh, was emotional recognition uh, project. What it does is you can consider that as a face recognition, but we don't really recognize faces. Uh, rather, we recognize uh, emotions. So emotions including sadness, happiness, surprise, uh, such and such. Uh, the idea is if I took a picture of you and if it's a standard face, meaning there's not that much noise, like you would put the hair behind and stuff, um, and I use a calculation of the distance, for example, um, of what we think uh, a standard sadness face would be. Uh, if the distance is close enough to the sadness rather than it is to the surprise, then we'll mark this face as being sad at the moment. So um, this algorithm well, it turns out it works for the ones for the data set that I picked from. Uh, but basically, in order to achieve this, we have to first find out uh, some standardized face, and then pick out an algorithm that can actually classify them with emotions, and then later on train them and then test them. So it's actually a long process, which ended up using almost everything that we learned throughout the quarter. Um, and something else that I didn't use throughout the quarter, which I had to learn on my own. So the final project was challenging enough, but it was interesting, which also was what led me to take this current class, the 118. That's a good one. I like it. All right, so COXI, it's a really, <clears throat> I can actually start from why this major um, attract my attention at first place. Uh, I was majorly attracted by UCSD's fame in this COXI. It's for sure the world's number one. So I came here with an idea that I'm going to learn from the best. And it turns out we have the best professor from the world. That's for sure. And there's a variety of things that you can learn other than the computation we talk about. Uh, there's also data scientists in our um, in COXI department. There's also, like I said, I was my background was in neuroscience. We have quite a few uh, world-renowned neuroscientists, and we have linguists and stuff like that. But if you're interested in computation, uh, it turns out, as far as I've learned from my own experience, it's better for you to have a solid math background 
going to be really interesting in math and coding. You don't need to have that much of a coding experience. To be honest, I have not learned any coding language before I start taking the machine learning classes. So I start um, along the way, I pick up MATLAB. And that's the only thing I know for right now. I'm just picking up slowly uh, Java. So you don't have, have to have that strong of a coding uh, experience, but you need to know something. Um, so if you're interested in math, for sure, and if you're interested in coding, to implement your math ideas, mathematical ideas, and if somehow you would like to merge them together, and it leads you to a way that you can think about artificial intelligence, machine learning, and how to make the world run more efficiently. Uh, that's the direction you should go. I think computation is for sure uh, one of the most promising division in this department. Um, unfortunately, I just started to know when I was in the last quarter of my third year, but it's not too late. I'm in my fourth year and I'm still doing it. So, Ah, the difficulties it comes first for me is the coding. Um, I knew the professor before I even started taking his classes. He knew I have a pretty strong math background. So we thought it was gonna be very smooth for me at the beginning to pick up coding. And it turns out it was not the case. Um, for people like me who didn't know any uh, computer languages, uh, it would be very difficult to start. So my suggestion is even if you don't know anything in computer, uh, you should try to start picking up something before you even start. So. Um, the course would not be as challenged to you as when you first take it. You don't want to be, um, you know, like you don't want to lose your faith as when you first started. You want to have, not to have a leap start, but to at least have, be on a comfortable place. Well, I have those problems. My advice is just hold on. It's not that bad. <laughs> um, you know, a, a class of 150 students passed a class and then a majority of them probably were the same as me, um, I bet you. Um, not in the current classes, so the class that I took before, the majority of them were just cocci students who are trying to get a you know, bachelor degree of science. So they don't know anything, just like I didn't know anything, but they all took the class, they graduated, so they were fine. Um, just hold on to it and find a partner, find someone who can teach you math if you don't know math, who find someone who is good at coding, who can conceptually turn math into computer language for you. Even if they're not strong at math, as long as you're good at it, have them translate your language to computer language, you're solid.